Well, welcome to week four then of the Starters Orders Online League. It's week four, day one of the flat. And we have got some great races for you again today. Twelve of them in all. And we'll be visiting four tracks. Chester, Goodwood, Pontefract and York. We start off at Chester with the StanJames.com Chester Cup. And that's a two and a quarter mile race where a decent draw is vital. And we handily placed on the rails. If you can get a good draw there. If you draw wide, you're probably going to struggle in these races at Chester. Then we've got two classic trials. The MBNA Chester Vars is a mile and four furlongs for three year old Colts. And then the Weatherby's Bank Cheshire Oaks is for the fillies over a furlong short of one mile three furlongs. After that, we will go to Goodwood for four quality hands. Handicaps, and after that we'll be off to Pontefract for the Pontefract Marathon. Uh, that should be a very interesting race because we've got our very own Stu Gray got a runner in that called Keys. That's won the race for the last two seasons on the trot, and he's going to be going for an unprecedented hat trick of wins in Starters Order Six online league races. So we'll get the sympathetic vote for that one, and obviously the crowd will get it be getting behind him without being disrespectful to any other trainers in there. It'd be great to see a horse coming back to win the same race for three years on the trot we'll then be finishing off day one's action with a trip to york and the duke of york stakes is the first one there that's a six furlong sprint that'll be lickety split blink if you miss it and then we've got the betfred middleton stakes after that over 10 furlongs which is a good quality group race for fillies so that'll be your day one then so before we get into today's racing then let's have a quick look at the current standings in the trainers championship man jango's got himself to the top of the list with 13 wins stephen ran with 12 is second and then john morgan and jim murray are chasing on 11 with joshua sutherland behind them in on nine paul rhodes a bit of a slow start to the season for him on seven but i'm sure he'll pick up as time goes on and hogger aka molly Ed surfer on six is seventh alongside Darren Thompson who's also got six and then Vinnie Gerrard who missed the first week but has come back absolutely firing on all cylinders hasn't he the last two weeks he's got five already and he's in ninth place tenth place showing up on the caption there is Hans Jones with four but also mentioned to David Robertson and Leon Van Rensburg who don't show on that graphic but have got four as well so let's get on with the racing then best of luck to Stu Gray and Keys at Pontefract so without further ado then let's get over to Doug Warren at Chester for the first race of week four, day one. 